Hello everybody and welcome to my November 2021 book haul. Dane reads. I don't think I've filmed an intro, so we're going to roll with that. Uh, I received this in the post, which I believed I was sent by, yes, Fly on the Wall Poetry Press, Isabel Kenyon. Um, this is a short story collection and she's asked if I'd be interested in uh, interviewing the author afterwards for my radio show, so I probably will. Uh, this is Janet H. Swinney, The House with Two Letterboxes. Now, I've read quite a few, probably like three or four short story collections by Fly on the Wall now, and I've enjoyed all of them. Um, a few of them have even been in my top books of the quarter and stuff, um, so yeah, I'm very excited about this one, and it just looks cool, and the title's cool as well. So I don't know what it's about, let's see. Set in the northeast of England, these are dark, dangerous and witty tales of a close-knit immunity. Oh, oh, there's a typo on the blurb in the, on the cover, I should let Isabel know about that. Maybe they know, maybe that's why they sent me this one, because this one might be one of the ones that they... Uh, anyway, here, neighbours have sharp tongues, suspicious minds and hidden talents. This, a place where money doesn't grow on trees and where women and girls endure a damn sight more than anyone should have to. But kindness can still come from unexpected quarters. So there are actually two, because it should be this is a place, and it's missing the letter C on community as well. But, um, yeah, I will let her know about that. A shout, shout out to uh, Isabel, she'll fix that shit. Hello, um, I have been sent two books by somebody I went to school with actually, Rob Terry, and I assume this is his dad, but I can't remember. Yeah, I reckon it is, because it says he has two children in their late 20s, uh, although, biggie, that was 2015, so I would have been late 20s then as well. Biggie, you're right in the way. You're right in the way, aren't you? So we have the day, the debris inside my mind, first aid for my soul, and more debris inside my mind, more first aid for my soul. Uh, two poetry collections. I mean, I'm a little bit worried to be honest because poetry is so subjective, you know. But we'll see. Okay, this one's short enough. Uh, lucky man, I really am so lucky to have health, my love, my wife, my children, and my happiness. In other words, my life. I quite like that, that's nice. So yeah. Oh, two Dane, best wishes and apologies for the poem on page six, Keith. What's the poem on page six? Ah, uh, okay, because he's talking about taking pork pies and he knows I'm vegan. That's quite nice, I like that. Nice little touch. Cool. Okay, so yeah, looking forward to getting to these. Hello, um, just the one book to haul for you today. This was sent to me by Isabel Kenyon of Fly on the Wall Poetry Press. This is The Mask by Elizabeth Horan. So uh, this is a poetry collection, sort of inspired by the work of Frida Kahlo. Uh, I have already read it. Unfortunately, I didn't particularly enjoy it, but I have enjoyed some of Horan's other works, so I guess you can't love them all. Um, but yeah, The Mask by Elizabeth Horan. It's like a little chat book. As I say, if you're a fan of Frida Kahlo, definitely one to check out. Hello, um, I have some books to uh, haul for you guys. Basically, I've won a load of Mr. Men books by Roger Hargreaves, so I'm just going to literally read through the titles, because otherwise we'll be here all day. Um, there are a few reasons why I bought these. I did used to like these books as a kid and never actually had many of them, so uh, it's kind of a pleasure to, you know, to go back through them all. So the other reason is that um, I'm falling short of my Goodreads reading goal. So I thought, why not kind of game the system with lots of small books? Um, and also, these will go for quite a bit on eBay on resale value because they're super short, you know, they fit in like a small letter um, and they're quite collectible. So anyway, Roger Hargreaves. Assume these are all Roger Hargreaves. We have Mr. Birthday. Mr. Christmas, this one's sparkly, has a nice texture actually, it's got a nice hand feel. Little Miss Fun, Little Miss Lucky, Little Miss Scary, Little Miss Brainy, Mr. Worry, I read that as Mr. Wordy, I've been doing too much bloody copywriting. Little Miss Trouble, Little Miss Sunshine, Mr. Grumble, Mr. Mean, Mr. Forgetful, Mr. Grumpy, Mr. Rude, Little Miss Naughty and the Good Fairy, Little Miss Whoops, which I assume is the female equivalent to Mr. Bump, Little Miss Stubborn, Little Miss Tidy, 
Oh god, this still got all these. Mr. Silly, Mr. Messy, Lionel, Mr. Noisy, Mr. Grumble, Mr. Cool, Mr. Perfect, Mr. Mischief, Mr. Topsy Turvy, Mr. Snow. What's the difference between snowmen and snow women? Snowballs. Mr. Forgetful. Have I had this one before? I can't remember. Little Miss Late. Little Miss Twins. Little Miss Shy. Little Miss Giggles. Mr. Bump, my old favourite one. Mr. Nobody. Mr. Clumsy. Little Miss Naughty. Little Miss Wise. Mr. Happy. Mr. Slow, Mr. Rush, Little Miss Christmas, Mr. Men at the Nightmare Before, oh no, no, just the Night Before Christmas, sorry. Little Miss Birthday, Mr. Jelly and the Pirates, Little Miss Trouble and the Mermaid, Mr. Bump and the Knight, Mr. Tickle and the Dragon, Mr. Men Adventure with Pirates, Mr. Small, A Big Day Out, and Mr. Men, A Christmas Carol, which apparently this has been misprinted as well. That's kind of cool. Okay. Um, and also, just while I'm here as well, I also got uh, The Emerald City of Oz by L. Frank Baum, which is uh, the latest Oz book, or one of the latest Oz books for me to get to with Joel Swagman. You'll see I've got some more coming in the post. I ordered a batch of the next four or five of them um, so that I've got them all ready to keep going with our buddy read series. Hello everybody, I have some books to haul for you that came in the post today. So the first one is Predictive Medicine, Artificial Intelligence and its Impact on Healthcare Business Strategy by Emmanuel Fombu, MD, MBA. Um, I'm not sure if I'm actually credited in this, let's have a look. Uh, this is published by Business Expert Press, it's actually a client of mine. It's just interesting to see this, because so I, I wrote this basically. Oh yeah, there we go. Thanks also to my publishing team, starting with Dane Cobain, my editor, who helped me shape my manuscript into the book that you are holding in your hands. Well, I actually wrote this, basically, although there is some stuff which looks as though um, he added himself as well. Um, but yeah, it's interesting. So uh, yeah, bit of a ghostwritten book. I will do a little uh, little review of this for Goodreads, um, but I won't be rereading it, as like I say, I, I wrote it. <laughs> but cool. Um, then we have Le Bouclier Arverne by Argosini and A. Udet. So this is a bon dessinaire, which is the French term for a graphic novel. It's got a little receipt in here. Very nice. Um, and yeah, this is just the, the next asterisk book that I need to get to. I actually have another French book on my bedtime pile at the moment. So this will go on there after that. Then we have this bad boy. This is uh, House Harkonnen by Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson. So this is the second prequel to June, I guess. I think it's a part of a trilogy. Uh, I read House of Trades earlier. I will say this, the text in this is a lot bigger. I mean, it is a bigger old book as well. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to getting to this because I enjoyed the last prequel, so fingers crossed. And then we have L. Frank Baum, The Patchwork Girl of Oz. So this is the next Wizard of Oz book that I have for my buddy reads with um, Joel Swagman. Hello everybody, just the one book to haul for you today. That is TikTok of Oz by L. Frank Baum. Book number eight in the Wizard of Oz series. So uh, as you know, I'm buddy reading these with Joel Swagman. And um, yeah, I have this one to add to my list now. All right, we're going freehand because um, I haven't unpacked my tripod from when I went away for a few days. But as you can see, that is the end of my um, November book haul. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.